What is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV we are going to be giving you the official review of the new Rico X from Castaplast. Thanks to Disc Golf Deals USA I was able to get my hands on this drop. Castaplast is notorious for not being super available so without Disc Golf Deals USA sponsoring this video this video would not have been made possible today. So go check out their website in the link in the description below. Now I just want to say first and foremost the Rico X I'm actually quite impressed with and in previous history Castaplast has not been able to make overstable discs or discs with much of any reliable stability at all. The Rico X does not have that problem. It's the old Rico mold but with this big bead added to it. So you can really see they have a nice big bead on there and I would say if you were to the best way to describe this for most people to understand would be an AVR X3 with a big bead on it. This thing is surprisingly overstable. I can rip on it full power on hyzer and it holds the hyzer the whole way through the flight. I can flex it with a forehand. I can flex it with a backhand. This disc will hold whatever hyzer angle you put on it. And if you put a little flat or anhyzer on it, it's actually gonna fight out of it. So it actually has like shocking or surprising stability when it comes to putters. I expected a flight more similar to my KC Pro AVR. Put it out on hyzer, let it go straight. Put it out flat, let it turn right. This disc does not fly like that at all. It certainly flies like a beaded AVR X3. Now the K1 plastic always has a reputation for being some of the best feeling plastic in disc golf. And this disc does not fail to impress in that regard as well. The plastic is a little flexible, but not too flexible. Nice and grippy. It's a little bit humid out today where some discs may be a lot more slippery than others but I had no problems with slips today and I can have a nice firm grip on it. The plastic feels really great. So the K1 plastic is always gonna be premium from Castaplast. So you're never gonna be disappointed with the quality of the disc. Now, as far as putting with this plastic goes, it's a bit too overstable for me. I would never find myself putting with an AVR X3 or something that's stable. I like a putter that's nice and glidey, but a nice beat in K3 Rico X would certainly be an extremely great putter. And I'd be super happy and pumped to actually have a nice bead in Rico X to putt with because I love the feel in hand with the big bead. You feel like you have a nice comfortable putting grip and it's gonna give you a lot of confidence on the putting green. Now, if you live somewhere very windy or somewhat, someone who just putts super hard and wants an overstable putter or someone who putts really flat, this is gonna be a really great putter for you. Uh, but if you have a brand new Rico X, even in K3 plastic, Personally, I think it'd be too overstable. So you're gonna to wanna to get out, use it as a throwing putter, beat a couple in, and then rotate them into your putters afterwards. But I think basically everyone who throws Castaplast will eventually switch to this as their main putter. Uh, the Ricos, they're beadless, they're still really overstable when they're brand new. And I think this is gonna be the main putter of most Castaplast pros. This is the most similar to the pro style putters from most of the other brands. Nice, reliable, kinda of tall, nice and glidey with a big bead. It's gonna be a good choice for basically anybody to putt with. Now my overall review, I actually really like the Rico X and I'm looking forward to continuing to throw it. Um, the only other thing I wanna show you guys is it's super flat. It's actually a little bit puddle toppy. So just in Rico fashion, most Ricos are puddle toppy like this and I think that adds to the lack of glide and the increase in stability. With all that being said, thumbs up from Castaplast. The Rico X, very great disc, surprisingly overstable. And I actually think a lot of Castaplast people will use this as their overstable disc over the yarn. I think the yarn is a decent disc, but I actually think this is a great disc for those overstable approach shots. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Will you be getting yourself a Rico X? And if you are, go get it from Disc Golf Deals USA. They hooked Iceberg TV up and they can hook you up too. You're watching Iceberg TV and take care.